could just begin the interview sharing with our audience a little bit about your education and how you got interested in medicine. Uh, I graduated from Chiang Mai University. It is the northern uh, city of Thailand. And after I graduate, I worked in the field of obstetric and gynecology. And then after that, uh, I have my, my relatives, my cousin, that uh, have uh, some uh, disease that uh, we try to treat by conventional therapy, but it failed. So it bring me to, to, uh, to the question that uh, whether or not uh, my education in medicine is enough. So I searching and I looking for something else in different. I went to Germany. I went to some kind of uh, therapy that I never uh, heard before during my education in, as the medical student. Then I just broaden my mind and I open up a little bit on the uh, you know uh, the form of therapy that may be successful and exist in the world, but uh, regard by conventional as the quack, as the uh, not relevant. And, and, and that is the turning point that uh, bring me to something else. And I, uh, uh, I spent almost 20 years learning, learning, and learning. Cancer incidence seems to be uh, uh, higher and higher, you know, no matter how we try to treat it. Conventionally, then they still fail. There's still a lot, uh, you know, die every day, every year. Uh, we have new medicine, we have new technology, but we, we cannot successfully uh, 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 treating the cancer. In the beginning, we do everything detoxification. We do detox the lymphatic, we do detox the colon, we detox the blood, detox the cells, detox in every single area that we have. So we have kind of uh, lymphatic uh, detoxification therapy. We have a different uh, couple machine doing that. We have machine to detox your cells by uh, changing your um, cellular uh, uh, pathway and, and cellular uh, uh, way to remove the toxin, for example. So it's kind of the uh, therapeutic with some energy form, some electromagnetic field. Uh, so we do everything mm -hmm. to remove the toxin out as much as possible. We do chelation therapy. We do the uh, systemic hypothermia and try to boosting your body to remove the toxin. In Thailand, when we compound the medicine for patients, it's uh, by law, uh, the doctors can send the prescription to the compound and then they can compound any substance that doctor deem, doctor believe that it can help the patient. I think the most important is our mind, the emotion. We are many, many of my patients cancer related to emotional uh, trauma. And emotion will bring down your immune system. And then everybody, every single body in this world, they're exposed to the toxin, environmental toxin, and more and more you get in, exposed to that toxin. But some patients don't have any cancer. Some patients, they develop cancer. So I think the turning point is the uh, emotional factor that uh, when you have some very strong emotion trauma and then your immune system drop, uh, start to drop and then your epigenetic factor, they, because of the drop in the immune system, then uh, some virus, some bacteria, some fungus, many uh, kind of pathogen, they stay and they multiply faster and then they, they, they change the gene. Uh, to, to open up uh, epigenetic uh, factor, to open up some gene, and then you, you develop cancer.